on as a doctoral graduate in engineering education. Um, today marks my third graduation at Tufts. I came to Tufts in 1993 as a wide-eyed freshman and just never left. Um, I was recalling my first graduation, which was 12 years ago, as a carefree undergrad, exhausted from enjoying senior week events. My purse had only my keys and my parking card, and maybe not even that. And it was a little bit of a crazy days. Uh, today I'm almost as tired as that first graduation. Not from crazy events, but coming from uh, being awakened this morning at 5.30 a.m. when the little man over there threw a stuffed monkey as he climbed into the bed <laughs> to announce that it was time to wake up. So we're working on telling time. Um, <laughs> and my purse is packed with diapers, white Cheerios, toy cars, and I think my marching card uh, may have had a close encounter with a cheese stick. Um, so I'll just hold it. So it's, it's crazy to think how life has changed over these past years. Um, and while life has changed the contents of my purse, Tufts has changed my mind, my goals, and my career path. And the MSD program is at the core of that. I started the program with grand ideas about changing the world of engineering education. All I needed was some Legos and a few minutes of classroom time. And when I started this program six years ago, the one that that reference is for, um, I quickly realized that I knew less than I thought I did about education in children. And the program and the professors have really challenged me to think and to reflect and to continually refine my ideas, which I'm incredibly grateful for. So today I stand here with equally grand ideas about engaging K-12 students in engineering design products. And I know, I do know a lot more after all these years, but I'm also keenly aware, aware that I have as many questions as I have answers. And uh, that's not what, how I thought I would end, but it's an exciting way to uh, come out of a six years of a doctoral program. But what I really have now is the knowledge and the tools to pursue answers and build a foundation of research for my grand ideas. Um, so when you go through a doctoral program for six years, you have a, pretty much a village of people to thank for helping you to get there. So I'm going to take my last minute to really thank those people, because how often do you get an opportunity like this? So I first have to thank my amazing advisor, Barbara Brizuela, who freely gave advice on theories of education, research design, as well as the art of writing a dissertation while parenting. Um, all the faculty in the Department of Education, especially Anna, uh, who listened to my ideas and discussed every iteration of my research goals. Um, my fellow MSCE students, um, who listened, challenged, commiserated, and gave support. Chris Rogers, who's the director of the Center for Engineering Educational Outreach that funded my work, for his, but Chris especially for his vision, encouragement, sense of humor and never ending patience with the whole process, the entire staff and students at the CEO, and I really need to thank today my family, particularly my parents, who unquestionably supported my first two degrees at Tufts, with no idea that it would turn into a buy one, get one free deal. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have the distinct honor of being a very select group of a quadruple jumbo, so, um, but they had no idea that was the case when they uh, <laughs> finance the first two degrees. Uh, I need to thank my son, Austin, for putting up with the crazy schedule of the grad student mommy and always keeping things in perspective. There's nothing you can do when an eight-month-old wakes up in the middle of the night and you're trying to pull an all-nighter to write a paper. <laughs> and last but not least, my husband, Dan, for his faith that finishing was possible, even when I uh, didn't think it was, and doing everything in his power, from dishes to helping with data collection, to help me reach it. So thank you all, and congratulations to all the graduates and the